Alright. Oh, I'm just gonna do a quick guide of the pit skip and uh, uh Warhammer Firm Tie to with the Battle Wizard. You can do this with any character, as long as they have a weapon that like a scope in. But like not scope in, more like uh like slow them down while they're like like their movement, like slow down their movement. Uh, I that with uh wizard is the easiest because it just has more movement uh, attack. That's about it. You don't really need anything on the battle wizard. You can just do it with any character, but probably the easiest is the battle wizard. Uh so to make the run faster is what I'd use is a dagger. You could use a default dagger. Blacksmith dagger. So how it works is you hold block, hold left click, hold block, hold block, left, and so you block, left click, block, left click, block, left click, hold left click, and then that's what I do, and then like I block like the anima animation cancel it by block, hold left click, block, hold left click, block. Yeah, you can animation animation cancel it and make it faster. And you just you can use any stuff as long as you can ventilate with it. So I'm just gonna do the pit cataclysm mode. So uh, I I use this one because it has more stamina, so I could dash more at the beginning. Uh, so let's start the run. I'm hearing rumors of something nasty creeping through Bergen Arfen. It starts out as plague and gets worse from there. Demon plants and tentacles, if that sounds familiar. If it doesn't, you ain't been paying attention, have you? My contacts reckon it started in the pit, the town's poorest district. So do me a solid and get it stopped, would you? Alright, so we load in. So, once you load in... You, you can use the movement tag. You can just walk. You could you, you, you could do this uh, run without using no movement tag, no talent, no nothing. So what you do here is, I what I do is I use a marker. So like it's around this fourth flank. Like there's like a little corner around the fourth flank. And like what you do is you use your staff, whatever it is, use it once, ventilate. You, your character moves slowly, and then like around this fourth flank, you're like trying to jump around it. Like there's like. A wall that you had to jump around. Okay, let me try explaining it better. So uh, I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you guys. So this is like the bridge, and like this is the corner. Like there's like a this is these are like the visible barriers, and there's like a little gap in it. And then, imagine there's like a pebble here, or like a little rock. You're, you're basically trying to like jump by ventilating because you move slower, so it's more precise. And jump. And I, like go around and like land on like a little ledge right here and then you can just jump down to where i am right now that's basically how i do it but that's like how i imagine it in my brain so you can just keep on moving uh you can go uh so, I, well, I messed up right there but like you can hug this wall and then you could it's like a shorter path but it doesn't really matter you could it doesn't it doesn't matter you could just keep on going oh so, keep on going to the end until like once you see like a little hill how should i do this run could get messed up by a mini boss but, like if you're doing a lower difficulty and you don't have the best gear you you, you should you could be able to kill the main boss and you can get a loot die which could increase the the chest rarity but that's about it okay so once you hit this boat there's like a little hill here you jump up Like that and then you're up here and you do the same thing like over here this one's you just jump up and sometimes it could that, that could uh like multiple times i have to try multiple times that but that it shouldn't be too hard so what here uh you could jump over this like over here but it's like harder you can also jump over here but what most people tend to do is that they just teleport up so like you could just oh I messed up right there, but you can like teleport up the ledge. Uh like if it's indicators right there. I don't know how to explain it. You can just teleport up, but if if you like fail the first time, you can just jump up. 
just that uh, learning to teleport up is better for if you're doing this repeating over just for chesses or like greater gear score stuff like that. So you could jump that, hit that, and then like so you could just hit this. Like you, you land in between the, the pole and then jump up. Climb up. And what you do, what I would do is just I just go to this house and just go straight. Just keep on going straight until you like reach a mountain. Oh, keep on going straight, keep on going straight. If you use a movement attack, you can just walk it, it doesn't really matter. Keep on going straight. Go in between the barrel and these grades. Or you, it's basically just keep on going straight until you reach a mountain. You're gonna have often hear like a bunch of noises. So I recommend like just turning your game audio off while you're grinding a lot or something. Uh, so you just keep on going straight, keep on going straight. You, you see this mountain, you hit this mountain, like well like this rock area. You keep on going, you go into this house and just follow, just follow this mountain. Basically. Follow the mountain, follow the mountain, and then. Do the same thing. There's like a little, uh, the same thing with the bridge over here. So there's like a corner right here. There's a corner like right here. So do the same thing. You shoot your wand or whatever, or you can like aim with a gun that gives you slower movement speed, crossbow. And then you're trying to like jump. Like I did it right there. I'm just trying to repeat it again just to show you. Like it's hard to explain. So it's like. There's like a corner right here. Like I'm running into a wall right now. So you're at the corner, the very corner, and you're jumping. Same thing on the bridge. Jumping like around it. Then you're in. Like I'm in. I'm in now. Like I'm in between the invisible wall. So then once you're hidden in the invisible wall, you could go up. I mean go right. Like go to this corner and go keep on going right. And then like slowly go down. Or like you you'll be able to do this faster later, but like slowly how I do it is slowly go down. I'm gonna lower the game audio real quick. All right, so you slowly go down. But like you hold the right, slowly go down. And once your character starts starts moving like slightly to the right more, like you see how I'm like going straight down basically? Once your character like does like a dramatic shift like right there, you could dash to the right and then do it. And then like I did it right there, but I, I just wanna show something else to the other people. Sometimes you could go into this rock you could just restart you, you could restart if you mess up the first time like sometimes you could do this you could do it correctly okay one second sometimes you could do it correctly like i did right there but then like you could dash incorrectly and like you could dash in this mountain and then like you're uh you, you did i mess up right there yeah you messed up like you're not like in the crevice you're like in the wall and crevice but then you can just restart it by just walking back. That's about it. So you're, I'm gonna do it again. Do it. You ventilate. It's not, it, it, it's it, you, it, it takes a quick few tries your first time you do it. And you do that. You go right. Go down. My character just made a massive ship right there. Dash. And you can just dash through or walk through after here. Uh, I would recommend crouching. I, I have more success crouching while doing that. So. That might help you if you're struggling. And I, you can just keep on dashing through. It doesn't really matter. As long as you don't like go back. Just dash to your like hug, hold W and dash to your right. And then as but like the cube, okay, let me the cube is very similar. It's it's basically very similar to the, the bridge. So there's like a visible barrier right there. Oh one second. I, there's a visible barrier, but I see it like this. Kind of. And like a pebble right here. This could be inaccurate. It, everyone has their own thing, and I just jump around. And I go in, and then do the, the tragedy. And here, so sometimes you can mess up and mess up with this jump. This rock, you're not like, you're jumping onto this rock, but this rock has like a visible barrier on top of it. So it's like, I have to jump a little higher. See, like I'm like above the rocks. All right, your boss should teleport to you now. So this is the part where it could grew up and a mini boss could spawn uh no mini boss is spawn so we're good once you're you do it you just run through you literally just run like you're just playing the mission normally just run through don't fight use your movement tech so you don't get hit behind you don't need to you, you could just run through and hopefully uh just not get hit hopefully 
But you should be fine. Um, um, the hardest part is that box at the top, but you, uh, it's fine. So usually there's a potion here. There's always a potion there. There's not usually a potion. There's always a potion there. And you could just drink it. Uh, oh yeah, 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 I should explain something about the gear afterwards. And then, once you're done, you should be able to just make it through. Boom. That's the run. Hopefully, I did a decent job explaining it. I might have done a shit job. I'm not really good at explaining it. Um, then that's it. Then I'll do one run. Uh, I'll do a run, a full run, just like right through right now. Uh, anything else? I'm forgetting something. Not uh oh the just the trinket basically. So like near the end, you need to sell how I drunk any potion. I what at the end there, I drank a strength potion. I got speed. That's uh, just the trinket that I have. Uh, drinking a potion grants the effect of all water potion duration reduced by fifty percent. That's basically what you use. It just speeds up the run. Uh, that's about it. You can just farm chests for most characters like that. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so I'm gonna try doing a run. Hopefully, I don't mess up. Got seen. Run, t if you get fast at it, it could take three minutes, like three to four minutes. And you could do this with other characters. Uh, I'll probably just show, uh, release future runs with just characters. You could probably do it with like all characters as long as you have like a weapon that like aims down sight and make it slows your movement speed. So you start the run, you run, you run, you run, run through, you run through, shoot your thing, ventilate, do your little jump. This one's really easy. You could some like, it's like a little, it's like a very little pebble you gotta jump over, and like once you jump over it, you could just walk down. You could just walk down. Uh, you could hold on the ledge or you could just drop straight down. It doesn't really matter. But you should land on a ledge and then drop down because you don't take fall damage. But you could just drop straight down also. But you do take fall damage. Um, um, uh, you uh, the, 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 like the, my fastest run, I usually hug the left wall. It doesn't really matter which wall you hug. I'm just trying to explain this so I'm a bit slower. Um, uh. Run through. I already have the video. Uh, if you want to see like a better, like probably a better run, there's already a video on the channel. The one before this video. Um, um, um. Up the hill. By the boat. Up this hill. And then once you get close enough, you can just teleport up. And since I'm a loader, I'm gonna do it again. But like, you don't need that. It just makes it run faster. Um, um. This is probably good because the Sienna DLC is probably uh coming out soon, and maybe some people want to level up their Battle Wizard or like get better gear on their Sienna, and it, uh, that's probably good for it. grind you can also do this with other characters i'll probably uh it's very similar with other characters if you could do it with this character you could do it with other characters you just it's like this ventilating is basically just like aiming down sight and like slow movement that's basically what it is right there you hold right slowly uh, your, my character move dash crouch why crouch go 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 Oh, go, go. You don't need a movement tag. It just makes it easier, especially near this ending part where... Especially near this ending part where uh, there could be... Wait, one second. 
a mini boss could spawn and then that'll block off this entrance and then you, you might have to restart the run or you could kill the mini boss you could kill the mini boss uh do you get a loot dice if you're strong enough that's about it uh the movement tech is not required what was i on about oh my god i'm so i'm sorry i'm so sorry uh the movement tech is not required but it makes it easier so things that are chasing you really can't hit you in the back but this is like the only part where you like really fight against mobs drink a potion you see i have a speed boost it's because of one of my gear you don't it's not you don't need to have it i'm pretty sure it's called it's on a legendary gear and it's called concoction you don't need to but it just makes the run faster because there's always a potion back there and the run is done that's about it yep then i'll just show you like a a little snippet of like other characters like doing well it's not like yeah i'll just show you like like if you uh, the video is basically down here but like i'll show you that you could do with other character right now so uh, i'm gonna do with barden oh you choose barden go start this run uh you could just equip the default crossbow or this crossbow yeah, you can't equip stuff like this because uh because it doesn't slow your movement speed. I mean you could do the jump but it's like way harder, like way harder. Bum, bum. All right. And then we're going, we're going. Barden also has a very similar, uh, a very similar movement tech. So you're here, fourth plank, jump. I did it right there. Boom, jump down, and we're done. That's basically how you do it. And you could do it with like most other champs too. And the same thing with the box area. And that's about it. Uh, anything else? I'm forgetting something. Not uh oh the just the trinket basically. So like near the end, you need to sell how I drunk any potion. I what at the end there, I drank a strength potion. I got speed. That's just the trinket that I have. Uh, drinking a potion grants the effect of all water potion duration reduced by fifty percent. That's basically what you. Use. It just speeds up the run. Uh, that's about it. You can just farm chests for. Most characters like that. Uh, hopefully I did a good job. Uh, hopefully I no. I hopefully I did a good job explaining it. But I feel like I did a good job. Hopefully some people were able to do it. I just it's just to farm the legend or like these chests and then rarities are are very varied. The varies depending on the gift you got. Uh, but it's it's just like a level up carrot. Uh, leveling up. Getting chesses, I you get occasional reds, but it's like very rare, and that's about it. Uh, hopefully that helped you. Maybe. Sorry if I did shit job. Boom, boom. Oh, okay, and anyway, but whatever. Thank you for watching. If you learned something, maybe drop a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever. I don't know. All right, that's about it. See ya.